Hi everyone, I'm Zara and this is a batch review of three books that are kind of holiday themed that I've read recently. Now I know this is a little late, but it's New Year's Eve, so I think we can still count it as safely being the holidays. The first book I have for you is Let It Snow by John Green, Maureen Johnson, and Lauren Miracle. This book came out in 2008 and I read it when it came out, but I decided to reread it because when I was reading the other two books I thought, oh, it'd be fun to do a batch review. This book is centered around a geographic area in the US. I'm bad at picking out geographic areas in books, so I'm not really sure where it's set. But there's basically this like huge snowstorm and all three stories are affected by the snowstorm and they all kind of come together at various points, which I really liked. I didn't expect that at all when I first read it because I knew they were three short stories and I didn't expect them to be connected in the least, but they are, so that was fun. The first story is by Maureen Johnson. It's called The Jubilee Express and it's about a girl who gets stuck on a train on her way to Florida where she is heading to visit her grandparents for Christmas because her parents have been arrested for being part of a riot involving Christmas figurines. The second story is by John Green and it's called A Cheertastic Christmas Miracle. It's about three teenager friends, two guys and a girl, who are going on this adventure of sorts after their friend calls them to tell them that all these cheerleaders have arrived at the Waffle House and they have to go to the Waffle House with Twister because the cheerleaders supposedly want to play Twister. And the third book is about, it's called The Patron Saint of Pigs and it's about a girl who is remarkably self-absorbed and she's supposed to be picking up this toy pig for her friend for Christmas, or teacup pig, excuse me, but she kind of gets self-absorbed, like I said, and forgets and has this little adventure along the way. All three stories are intertwined and they're all really enjoyable. Lauren Miracle was, was probably my least favorite just because the main character was so self-absorbed and like self-pitying, mm, not my thing. But it improved. She Well, she improved. And the story was really fun all the way through. But I just love how the characters in this kind of intermix throughout the stories. I thought it was really fun. And I enjoy reading it pretty much every Christmas. So definitely recommend this one. The second book is My True Love Gave to Me, which is a compilation of 12 holiday short stories by YA authors. And it's edited by Stephanie Perkins, and she also contributed a story. This came out just this year, and I really enjoyed it as well. I love the cover. I think it's so pretty, fun, and holiday-like. Um, and something that I really enjoyed and didn't expect about the book is that all of the stories are about like lots of different, well not lots, but several different wintry holidays. Like the first one by Rainbow Rowell is about New Year's Eve. There are some ones about Christmas and there are a couple that have Jewish characters and the characters are actually pretty diverse like throughout the entire book, which I was pleased about. There are a mix of some really good stories and some not so good stories, but overall I really enjoyed it and I would definitely recommend reading it. My favorite stories in this book were the first one, Midnights by Rainbow Rowell and Krampus Love by Holly Black. I thought Krampus Love was absolutely hilarious and fantastic and so fun. I loved it so much. There are a bunch of great stories in there, so you should definitely give this one a try. The last book I have today is Dash and Lily's Book of Dares by Rachel Cohn and David Levithan. They've written several books together. The only one I've read previously is Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist. I didn't enjoy it that much, um, but I picked this one up anyway. I'm not really sure why, honestly, but I really, really, really liked it. I don't really think I can give a better summary of this book than just by reading the back of it. So I'm just going to do that. It says, At the urge of her lucky and loved brother, 16-year-old Lily has left a red notebook full of dares on her favorite bookshop shelf, waiting for just the right guy to come along and accept. Curious, snarky Dash isn't one to back down from a challenge, and the book of dares is the perfect distraction he's been looking for. As they send each other on a scavenger hunt across Manhattan, they're falling for each other on paper, but finding out if their real selves share their on-page chemistry could be their biggest dare yet. I love this book so much. I would really just encourage you to read it any time of year because it is really funny. Dash is pretty pompous and pretentious in the beginning and a really hilarious way that I enjoyed. I don't usually enjoy pretentious characters, but he was pretty funny. They have a lot of character growth during the book, Lily especially, but Dash as well, I think. There's also a gr fantastic ant character. Lily's aunt is has the nickname bestowed by Lily, Mrs. Basil E, after Mrs. Basil E. Frankweiler, and if you know that reference, you should read this book because you'd like it. But yeah, it was a fun book, it was heartwarming, and I just, oh, I liked it a lot. I liked it so much. Mm.
And this book came out in 2012. This edition is new this year. Um, but I hadn't read it before and I hadn't even heard of it. So I'm really glad I picked this one up. Out of all three, oh gosh, I don't know. For the most holistically good experience, I would recommend this one. Although you should still definitely read the other two as well. So yeah, I hope you all have a fun New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. I'm going to be going out to dinner with my mom tonight for Mexican food and margaritas, and we're going to eat Black Eyed Peas tomorrow, as family tradition requires. Um, so I hope you enjoy whatever you're doing, and have a very happy New Year. P.S. I'll be back soon with a 2014 wrap-up video, but I'm still reading a couple books, so I want to finish them before I do that. So I'll see ya!